Hello, and welcome to your fifth grade science class. Today is day 13. We're still in unit five, investigating Earth's changes. Today is January 25th, 2021. Our learning target is 5.7a and 5.7b. I can explore the processes that led to the formations of sedimentary rocks and fossil fuels and recognize how landforms such as deltas, canyons, and sand dunes are the result of changes to Earth's surface by wind, water, or ice. So let's review the WED process. Weathering is the breaking down of rock into smaller particles. Yes, there is a mechanical and a chemical weathering, but we just want you to remember that weathering process as a whole ends up breaking down the rocks into smaller particles. Erosion, this is the movement of those broken down particles from the weathering process. It's the movement of those particles. They're now being carried away and they can be carried away through wind, water, or ice. Deposition. This is the depositing of those broken rock particles in another place. So after they've been broken down, they've been carried away, now they have been deposited and they're starting to build up to create new landforms. So let's review the formation of sedimentary rock. Well, you start with a larger rock through the weathering and erosion process, that rock is broken down into smaller pieces. It is then carried away through the erosion, through water, wind, or ice. And then once it becomes deposited elsewhere, it begins to compact and cement together, forming a new sedimentary rock. Let's continue. Evidence of ancient life is evident in what type of rock? Hmm. Well, I hope you said sedimentary rock. Evidence of ancient life is found in sedimentary rock. Let's talk about coal formation. So some things that I want you to remember are highlighted in red, or the font is in red, very important for the formation of coal. So you have dead pieces of plant matter or peat. This begins to collect on the lake bottom or in swampy marsh areas. The sediments then begin to apply pressure on top of one another. And finally, you have coal that has been created from these dead plant or peat materials collecting on the bottom of the lakes, causing pressure. And with that heat and pressure from those layers, you have coal formation. Remember that coal is formed by dead plant matter. Oil and natural gas formation. So over millions of years, tiny sea plants and animals have died and have been buried on the ocean floor. Over time, they are covered with layers of sand and sediment. Over millions of years, they begin to be buried on top of one another deeper and deeper and with enormous amounts of heat and pressure, they are finally turned into gas. And today, we use drills to drill through those layers to reach the rock formations that contain the oil and gas deposits. So remember that oil and natural gas formation is formed with sea life plus heat and pressure so let's take a look at some of these landforms and I want you to decide 
what has caused this? All right, time is up. If you said that this was caused by weathering and erosion, weathering either by mechanical weathering or chemical weathering. I hope you said mechanical weathering. So this was caused by water, wind, and ice. And with the process of erosion, after that sea level has rose and has broken down the rock here, which it looks like actually used to be a road, um, it actually carried those rock particles out to sea. Okay, what type of landform is this? I'll give you a minute. Okay, time is up. If you said this is a valley, you are absolutely correct. Now, I would like for you to think, what created this valley? How was this formed? If you said by ice erosion, you are right on the money. Remember that over time, glaciers wear away the bottom of a valley, creating a U shape, which is seen here. Very good, let's continue. So, you know this is a delta. Can you tell me how this was created? What formed this delta? If you said this was formed by water erosion and deposition, you are absolutely correct. Um, water erosion carried rock particles downstream or to a larger body of water. And over time, those rock particles have created new landforms and have built up by deposition. Oh, this is so hard. Please, I want you to dig deep and think, what type of landform is this? If you said this was a sand dune and most likely was formed through wind erosion, you are absolutely correct. Very good. So let's review. What is one of the main forces that causes erosion? Yes, gravity. Gravity is one of the main forces that causes erosion. How are rock particles moved from place to place? Correct, they are moved by water, wind, or ice erosion. What is responsible for landforms constantly changing shape? Erosion or the movement of materials away from a place causes landforms to change shape. Deposition can also change landforms. Very good. The Earth's surface is constantly changing through weathering, erosion, and deposition.